Don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. Woo! Man, that shit scares me. I don't know about you guys, that shit scares me. Anyways, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. I know you guys are not used to me uh, vlogging on the bike, but here it is. I think it's raining. My, uh... Is it raining? Oh, it's raining, no way. Oh, hell no. Anyways, guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. Um, yeah, we're not in the car today. We're not, um, we're not in the Shelby. This is my 2024 MT-09. I've actually had it for like five months, guys. I just have yet to uh, post a vlog with it. But anyways, here it is. Currently have... Uh, about to hit 3,800 miles on it now in five months. That's not too bad. I've been using it to commute to and from work. Um, also, I've been riding it all over the place here in Southern California. Man, we caught a red. Yeah, all over the place down here in Southern California. I love this bike a lot. I really have nothing bad to say about it except for the like, dead spot second gear has. But I was told that they did that to pass like emissions i guess um also oh what is it also it, it it's not bad if you're doing second gear wheelies it just doesn't have that bottom end power right away because of the way it's tuned and set up um but i mean i don't mind it i've gotten used to it But, I'm sure it would be a lot better if I fixed it and got a tune for it, which I have not done so yet. But, uh, yeah, that's something I do want to do soon. Another red light. What's my luck that it rains, like, right when I get off work? I like literally just want to get home before it gets dark. I'm wearing my dark visor. It's like the chrome tinted one. And I know a lot of you guys like to wear dark tinted visors at night, but hell no, not me. I can't see nothing. So yeah guys, I've had this bike for about 3,700 miles now. Absolutely love it. I have a... Uh, Full Acropovic, Acropovic, however you guys want to pronounce it, race exhaust on the bike. Uh, comes with the headers and uh, the carbon exhaust. It sounds absolutely amazing. I love the pops this bike has in between gears. You can hear it right here on my upshift. Right at about 6k. Oh! It's so loud. It's kind of obnoxious sometimes, I'm not gonna lie. That's with the quick shifter though. If you guys are shifting without the quick shifter, just clutch in, it doesn't do it. Is she really parked right there just to go in the... That's crazy. Parked on the side of the road, hazards on just to go uh, to the ATM when you can literally pull in right there. That is wild. I wish my visor wasn't so uh, blurry. But then again, it is raining. I don't really feel it because I got this jacket on. I'm wearing a uh, Cortex jacket. I'm wearing some uh, riding pants and some Alpine Star. I think they're called the Chrome um, boots, if I'm not mistaken. They're not really boots, they're kind of shoes. I wear them during work. They're absolutely amazing. And, uh, yeah. They work well. 
I just want to get home before it rains some more because I can't see nothing. Anyways, guys, I really hope the audio sounds good. Um, I'm using the GoPro Hero 12 Black with the media mod connected to it. And I'm using the Rode Lavalier, I believe it's called. Um, it is a wired microphone and I just connected it and put it inside of my helmet today while I was at work. So I'm really, really hoping and praying that it sounds good for you guys. Because if not, this whole vlog on the way home is going to be a fail. Um, yeah. So I hope it sounds good. I hope you guys can hear those little pops and shifts and actually like enjoy the sound of this bike because this bike sounds amazing the cp3 engine guys oh what the fuck are you doing yeah that guy like did not even see me and that's why you guys gotta always be paying attention always ride like they're out to kill you like that guy right there was not paying attention i was the only person on the road wasn't even speeding only person on the road right there in that whole section and I still have all my lights on my bike. Like, I got my orange, uh, you know, signals. Everything's, like, my bike has a lot of lights on it. There's no way you cannot see me, you know? Anyways, that distraction kind of uh, freaked me out for, like, two seconds. Anyways, why you got the girl pedaling? You the, you the man. You're supposed to be pedaling that shit. <laughs> Why are you going to make the girl pedal? So, I want you guys to comment, like, subscribe to the channel if you guys like the content so far. Like I said, first time we're doing these moto vlogs. I hope they turn out good because it is something that I would like to keep on doing if they turn out good, you know? As long as the quality is there and it sounds good, and I hope and I pray that the front of the lens right now... Actually, I should probably give it a little wipe down. It's probably blurry right now. I didn't even think about that. That is such a fail. Give you guys a little wipe. Where are you? Oh, you're right there. There you guys are. Also, what do you guys think about the new 2025 Yamaha YZF-R9 coming out? Do you guys think it's a replacement for the R6? Personally, I think it's a good competitor. Very, very equal in horsepower, but it has this CP3 engine, so it's got that torque. Um, it's got the same TFT screen that mine currently has. It's literally an MT-09 full fairing, but they got a different frame on top of it now too. I believe it's the frame from the R1s now, the new R1s. Don't don't quote me if I'm wrong on this, but um, that's what I thought I read up on. I'm not 100% sure yet. I, I still am doing some research. Will I get an R9? I think it's a great bike. It is something I have looked into. Um, would I get it to replace this? I don't think so. This MT-09 is absolutely amazing. It's a fun bike and I love it. I don't think I would get it. <laughs> I just scared them. I don't think I would get it to replace this bike. But I also don't want to get one because it would be the same, same powerhouse as this thing. You know? I would rather get like an R1M. If I'm going to stay with Yamaha, or I really, really, really have been looking into a Honda Fireblade, guys. Absolutely love those bikes. So we will see what happens. It's definitely a possibility that we get a Fireblade, maybe even an R1M. Not sure yet, but uh, we will definitely see. But like I said, I love this bike. Haven't really done a whole lot to it yet. Damn, that guy was gutsy. Everybody's crazy today. Not going to fit through there. Yeah, the only downside about this bike, it is a little bit wider than a sports bike. So, there are spots where, like, the height of these handlebars do tend to touch people's mirrors when I'm uh, filtering through traffic. And it's not like we're doing it on purpose, guys, believe me. Like, 
it's totally an accident when I do it, but it does happen once in a while. But it's something you gotta be prepared for because it will throw your handlebars a little bit to the side. Got about probably 15 more minutes before I get home. Weather is not looking good today. This is like the worst time to be splitting too because people can't really see you. Like they can, but they can't, you know? You're not their priority, and I get that. It's not their fault. Especially when I'm splitting like this, and it's been raining a little bit. So this little middle line is gonna be slippery. Whew. I love that little crackle on this exhaust. It sounds so good. Yes, guys, I am in California. It is legal to lane split. And I like to keep it in like first or second gear so that way everybody does hear me. A lot of pipes do save lives, guys. Everybody moves over. When I had my stock exhaust, I swear to God, nobody heard me, nobody moved over, nobody seen me. As soon as I put an exhaust on my bike, Everybody hears me. Look at all that traffic. All you caged animals. Oh, I thought I lost my wallet for a second. That was scary. What are you doing, homie? Go! <laughs> the guy had so much time. What is he doing? One boy's just riding the line. Alright. 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 I see you guys. I see you guys. We're like zigzagging back and forth right now. I usually pop it up right here. I don't know if I should do it. <laughs> I love this bike. The balance point on this thing is just so perfect. You just can't. Like, it's so perfect. I don't need an MT-10. The power is perfect on the MT-09. 2024 Gen 4 MT-09, absolutely love this thing. It is a beast, it is a monster. I actually have to buy an entire like very, very, very soon. Um, I'm just waiting till the cords start showing and then I will uh, buy a new one because it's pretty down there, like it's down to the wear mark. And I need to get an entire like ASAP. But to be 3,800 miles on it, I didn't start popping up the front end till about 3,000 miles. I just wanted to break it in and really get used to the bike and respect the bike. Because um, this thing can seriously hurt you, and if not, it can kill you. So, once you respect the machine, you respect the bike, you respect the car, whatever it is you guys are into, motorsports, whatever, once you learn how to respect it, then you can mess around a little bit. But, you gotta know what you're dealing with first. Some people don't. Some people, they think their first bike is, oh, I'm gonna get a 1,000. I want a 1,000. I wanna be cool. I wanna, I wanna be fast. And they just don't understand the actual power behind it. You know? 
my advice to you guys, if you guys are like a first time rider a, and you don't really want to be on a sport bike, honestly recommend getting some kind of cruiser, Kawasaki Vulcan, great, great bike. Fairly inexpensive, um, affordable, not, not going to break the bank. Uh, maintenance isn't going to kill you either. Um, if you want something like this, you want like a naked bike, MT-07 is a great beginner bike as well. Um, if you want a little bit more power, if you guys grew up riding dirt bikes and racing dirt bikes and you're used to bikes, I think MT-09 is perfect for you. Wind factor, uh, it really depends. I don't really start feeling the wind drag on me till about 100 plus. But let's face it, the power and gearing on this bike isn't really made to stay up in that high miles per hour RPM range. So I think, oh, ow. I think, uh, I think the gear and everything's fine on this. Uh, if wind's an issue for you guys, then get a sport bike, get a Vulcan or something, cruiser, get a big old windscreen on that thing. I don't like windscreens, I don't like giant ones, that's for sure. Um, but if I was gonna be on a sport bike, it would be nice. I do plan on getting one soon. Um, but probably not within the next couple months. I'm just going to continue to ride this. Uh, for those of you guys that are new to my channel. I do, uh, I do a lot of automotive stuff on this channel. So I do have a 2017 Shelby GT350. I go to a lot of car events with that thing. Um, I'm in a SoCal Shelby's car club as well. Is this thing gonna turn? This guy keeps like staring at me every time we come up to the light. Almost home guys. Splitting lanes. I love fitting through the lanes too. Like this guy's kind of just hovering on the lawn. It's okay. I got more than enough space to go by. But yeah, guys, always ride like everyone's out to kill you, cause you never know. Someone like that guy looked like he was gonna make a sudden little turn on me. I stand it up for you guys across this intersection hmm I'm not the greatest at wheeling guys but you know we're, we're learning we're learning for somebody that's only been doing it for like 800 miles 797 to be exact it's not too bad I used to wheelie on my dirt bike so but it's not the point guys it's not the point the point is different bike different machine how dark really is it oh it's not even that bad is going on here and there's a cop Vroom. man it's getting darker a lot earlier actually I wouldn't say earlier right now it's just because it's so overcast oh, I'm a neutral that was awkward as hell <laughs> This guy doing a U-turn? What, what, what's going on, Buster? Brother! I hate when people just ride down the middle lane like that. Like, dude, it's a neighborhood. <laughs> Other cars are coming. Oh, the disrespect. And guys, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment if you guys liked it. 
I'll post some more vlogs like this. Leave a like, subscribe if you guys want. You don't have to. Um, my socials are there, 808.pony. Also, I have another cool car in the garage, but if you guys are new to the channel, you're gonna have to watch some of the old videos so you can see what car it is, because it is bitchin'. Anyways, guys, really appreciate you guys for tuning in. This is the 2024 Yamaha MT-09. That's her. Turn this light off for you guys. There she is. See you guys. Peace.